Hi everyone, this is Mike from 360 Rise and we're here to talk to you about all the different mounting points that we have on our different rigs. Um, the example we're going to go over today is the GoPro Hero 5 version that we're work uh, going to talk about and it uses this black mount here for its center core. And then we also have a Yi rig which is the same uh, similar type of camera system but it uses the blue core uh, and it also has the same type of mount configurations and we want to go over those differences. The big thing is when each one of these rigs, you get one of these rigs, um, you get this very unique uh, mount system here. Um, if I go to take this off, it's basically a 3 8 extension, uh, which is about three and a half inches. And what it allows you to do is to reach down inside here so that you can easily mount up the uh, monopod or tripod here like that we're talking about here from Manfrotto um, to your VR rig. And there's different mounting points that have their advantages and disadvantages when doing that. In this example, because we have a 3 8 end on top of here already, okay, we also, uh, we're not going to take advantage of the quarter 20 that's on the bottom, so we're just going to remove this little adapter and, and talk about the 3 8 extension. So for each one of these, these mounts have different mount points that are inside here. We have an A mount point as well as a B mount point. And when we go to take a look at them inside of here, the A mount point is the corner. And what happens on the corner when we do that is the rig actually sits up like this. Now there are pros and cons for doing that. Uh, this is great for like shooting in fields or landscape type area. But if you're dealing with talent, uh, it's a problem because you're actually right on the seam of the camera. So if, when, if, I, if you are the person that's filming, notice these two cameras come together and they're on the seam and you wanna prevent that. So what we do is, is we don't use the corner mount for that, we actually use the side mount. And this particular side mount, again, is a 3 8 connection. And when we go to drop this onto the Manfrotto, um, these are their new VR or carbon fiber poles, which are really excellent for doing this type of work. Um, here's some of the advantages that you can do with that. If I use the side mount in this mode, mode here, notice the camera, when it looks at you, it's in a landscape mode. If I turn around and flip this um, 180 degrees, notice now it's in portrait mode. And that mainly difference for that is when you're dealing with the talent that you're working with. So as you can see in here, I have portrait facing me, so that gives me my whole body torso. And if I happen to be lying on my side or doing a, a different type of angle that's landscape, that allows it to work in a landscape mode. So that's using the GoPro rig. Now we have the same exact thing for the Yi rig. It's, again, it's the same type of camera system, it's very similar. Uh, price point is a little bit better, so if you want to get into high resolution content and kind of save a little extra money, it allows you to do that. And here is the Yi 6 rig. And again, this is his center point. His center point is a little bit different in size, mainly because of the lens orientation. So here, notice the camera lens is right in the middle of the body. And then on the GoPro one is slightly offset. So the difference of the center cores adjust for that. And the same type of thing here. Uh, here we're going to use the side mount with the Yi rig. And notice when it's looking at you, you see it in landscape mode. Or if I turn that and now it's in portrait mode. And again, it's all about trying to place that seam for where your stitching is down in the torso. And you're not splitting somebody's head in two. So this is kind of a quick overview of the different mounting positions that you can use with the six rigs. And it also uh, goes into a lot of the other rigs that we're dealing with as well. We have a 10 rig, same type of configuration, different mounting points for mounting below drones and things like that. Here we have a, another Yi rig. Um, that's the same type of thing. It's got a mount point below drones and it has a corner mount assembly for when you're filming talent or people that are close to you. And then here's the same type of thing using a Hero 4 rig with timecode systems. And again, they all have different mounting points to kind of help with you. So this is just a quick overview of the different mounting points. Stay tuned because we got some other cool stuff coming up.